Uh, okay, we're going to try again here. It's Jeff Roy. Welcome to Three Crosses Listening Center. This is a website that I've been putting together to help people connect and help us all get a little bit closer to um, God and actually hearing His voice, hearing Him speak. I just wanted to share just a little bit about my history uh, with you. Just take a, take a couple minutes here. I grew up you know, attending church, uh, United Church, uh, didn't really have that kind of personal relationship with the Lord. Although, I must say, you know, I did pray. Uh, it was mostly just one-sided prayers. At a, at a certain point in my life, after I'd been through university and started a bunch of businesses, and had tried out an awful lot, you know, I was the prodigal son type. I would uh, tried everything out that the world had to offer, uh, and I found it... Uh, a bit dry and meaningless and was a disillusion with the world and at this point uh, through a bunch of different things God started to speak to me through some some secular movies uh, some books the Bible and I began to kind of communicate with him it was a more intuitive thing where I was sensing his drawing and his pulling and I felt that call to let go of uh, the businesses and uh, pack my things into storage and just take off and follow him and I knew he wanted to me to, me to go some particular place. I was actually heading out west. In the, in, the, in the midst of all this, most of my family, my friends, thought I was losing it a bit because I was walking away from businesses I had uh, worked on establishing. But I knew that uh, something had to change and I was seeking more. And so I followed him, his call, his word to me. In the midst of this, just... Uh, I was down in the States uh, visiting some friends in, in West Virginia, seeing these three crosses all along the sides of the highways. If you've ever traveled down there, you might know what I'm talking about. There's two white ones and a gold colored one in the center. And you just come across them, you know, almost every 20, 30 miles at some points, you see one on the side of a hill or in a farmer's field. So I was seeing these things. And in addition to that, after spending about a week and a half, I just got up one morning and I just left. Uh, I knew that it was time for me to go. I just knew that it was time to, to head off. So I called my friend that I was staying with. He was at work. I said, I'm going to come in. I'm going to say goodbye, and I'm heading. And I don't know where, how long I'll be gone for, but I'm going. So I uh, said goodbye to him, went down the highway in this camper top van with uh, a bunch of Bibles and commentaries and books on living off the land. And I felt as free as, as I've ever felt in my life. It was a wonderful feeling. Uh, at the same time, I kind of knew that a lot of people thought that I was, um, you know, a little bit um, off the edge. And as I'm leaving Clarksburg, West Virginia, driving up and down on Route 50, up and down these mountains, I see a little sign off the, up in the bush on the side of a tree, hand-painted sign that said, Jesus is here. And I just, uh, I remember reading that sign out loud to myself and saying, well, well, Jesus, if you're here, I'd sure like to bump into you because I got a lot of questions for you. And I remember thinking, I just said that out loud to myself, and I'm talking to myself in the van, driving down this highway, and I said, maybe you are starting to become a little unstable. Um, what I did was, I, after I saw that sign and said those words, I came across to the next uh, peak uh, in these hills in West Virginia, and there was this bearded fella walking toward me at the side of the road, carrying about an 18, about 16, 18 foot long cross with the words repent written on it. And I drove past this guy at 65 miles an hour, kind of rubbing my eyes, trying to look in my rearview mirror, trying to figure out what was going on. That was a little too freaky, considering I just said I wanted to bump into Jesus. Mm -hmm. So I turned around, and I, uh, I went back and yelled across at the guy, and eventually we connected and talked for a little while, and he shared some stuff about Jesus and about God that I hadn't really known before. And this fellow was a cross carrier. He was carrying a cross across the uh, states doing what he sensed God telling him to do. So that began my kind of journey, and uh, there's more to that story, and eventually maybe I'll put more up in a video, or I'll write a little bit more, and we'll put it on the website. Uh, my connection with him led me to a certain church, and, uh, and I met, uh, um, you know, I, I would say that my eyes were open more than ever there. And so I was on this wonderful journey of, uh, of getting to know God. This continued uh, for almost a full year. I, I, I stayed at home and studied and, and learned more and was still hungry and went off to seminary to do a master's degree. <clears throat> but as I started to get into the church and as I started to get into uh, seminary and, and study more, I realized that not a lot of people had this experience where God was very personal, very intimate, that, that, that there was almost a, you know, this intuitive, intimate connection where he, he spoke and led 
me moment by moment and I was expecting to see him working in each day, see his activity. And so I began to question, you know, maybe I was just misaligned and that was a special beginning for me and wasn't normal. So, you know, I became a pastor and I worked in a Presbyterian church for a while and then I worked in Alliance churches and I and I kind of towed the line and um, kind of, you know, just stepped down my expectations of God, his activity and his, his daily word to me in my life. And after about 17 years, I've come to this new place, through some hard times, I think, where God has, uh, you know, I had no place else to go. Like when I first was 25, and I went back to him, very humbly, just seeking to hear him, thirsting for him. And I began to journal and write, and I began to, to intuitively sense him, not, you know, kind of analytically speaking to me in the left side of my brain, more in the right side, just intuitively hearing him. And, uh, and writing, automatically just writing down what I'm hearing and then comparing that with scripture and sharing it with others and saying, hey, you know, God is communicating with me and he does live within me by his spirit. And this is a two-way thing. And this is a personal relationship and it's all brand new. And so now when I get up in the mornings to have my quiet time, it's not a discipline where I can do it for a few months and then I fall off the rails. It's something that I do consistently because I want to do it. And if I miss it for a day, I'm just not happy. Um, my whole day is different because I actually had that time uh, with uh, with the Lord in, in the morning. And he changes my mindset. So I, if I go into a day without that, I have this whole different mindset about about that day. But if I have time with him, and what is he, you know, what is it? It's not like I'm just getting all of these predictive words. I'm getting simple words of encouragement, uh, um, exhortation, edification. Uh, he he uh, expresses his love for me. Um, it's just a, uh, there are times when you f I feel conviction, or there are times when he's teaching me something new through what I'm reading. But all in all, it's a, it's, a, it's a very inspiring and filling time of day. And then as I go into the day, I bring him with me through the day. So Three Crosses is really me trying to work that out and bring that to other people, because uh, I've started to share it with other people, and other people seem to catch on to this. In this day and age, our analytical side can hinder us from hearing God. And um, other people are opening up and finding uh, just the wonderful um, sense of uh, the Lord's abiding presence and his willingness to actually speak words into our lives. And we can hear his voice. And this is what Three Crosses is about. It's about what the website's about. It's about what the, uh, the experience at the, uh, the side of the mountain's about, encountering him in the stories of Scripture. You'll find that every character from Moses, Elijah, David, Jeremiah, Isaiah, Daniel go right through the Bible. They had two-way conversations with God. And now that Jesus has come, his spirit dwells right within us, and we can have the same thing. And we've been kind of being lied to. We have a spiritual enemy who's hindering us from having this wonderful, intimate communion with God. So I just uh, I hope the best for you as you explore the website. Uh, drop me a, an email or let me know what you think. And that's enough for now. We'll catch up with you a bit later. Thanks so much. Bye for now.